Should I divorce my husband? My husband had a threesome with my best friend and his girl best friend and I got so angry I hooked up with his boss and now I regret it. I always knew my best friend had a thing for my husband. She's admitted it multiple times but I would just laugh it off because surely my married best friend won't f*** my husband, right? I didn't even catch them. My husband's girl best friend is just that insane that she casually admitted it to me as I was cleaning the kitchen when I got back. I thought she was kidding. No, she wasn't. I asked my best friend if this was true over a phone call and she at first denied it then broke down sobbing and fucking admitted to it. I was so angry I threw all of my husband's things into a big suitcase and tossed it on the front lawn. I locked the doors and piled a bunch of shit in front of it like the couch, an end table, etc. so the dumb fuck couldn't get in. Of course when he got home from work and couldn't get in, he started panicking. He banged on the door and shouted for me to let him in. I just stayed upstairs with our dog and let him tighter himself out. Eventually he left and from what I know, he stayed the night at his girl best friend's apartment. They probably fucked too all while he was crying over me. After a few weeks of him blowing up my phone and pleading with me, I finally let him come home and we talked. He was sobbing and apologizing to me. Said he was a sex addict and that he needed help. I told him I want him to go to therapy as well as us going to couples counseling. He agreed to it without any fight. He slept on the couch while I slept in our bedroom. My best friend hadn't even made any moves to contact me or apologize for being the homewrecker she is. My husband ended up having some sort of work dinner party a week or so later that he needed to attend and invited me. This was the first time he's ever invited me to anything like this. Pretty sure it's because none of his female co-workers don't know he's married. Or I'm assuming that's the case because of how shocked they seemed to meet me. At the dinner, his boss, 50s, M, was chatting with me. Newly divorced and I asked him how that was, made sure to ask loud enough for husband to hear me. We ended up chatting all night and my husband ended up screwing off from the dinner table and told me he was gonna go home and told me to get an Uber home, clearly pissed off at me. Needless to say, his boss was shocked at how he treated me and I couldn't help but play up the sad lonely wife bit. It ultimately ended up in us going back to his house and hooking up. When I woke up that morning I did end up Ubering home. Since then, his boss has sent flowers to our home, called me a few times. And my husband is completely aware of this and now the regret is starting to sink in. The guilt and worry has started to eat away at me. The revenge felt nice but now it's clear it's eating at the both of us. I'm gonna find a lawyer and start the process soon. I just needed to tell all this to someone that isn't my family because they don't even know the first detail about this. Forgot to add that when we had our first therapy appointment, he never showed. He was gonna head there after visiting his sister who lived just a few miles from us. I sat and waited in that office for over an hour before I just went home and saw his ass sitting on the couch texting on his phone. He knew we had that appointment that day because I texted him multiple times about it. He had no intention whatsoever to fix this, give me closure or start fixing his sex addiction.